Hello, everyone. I was having a really hard time trying to get my computer to work with Quest 3 through Immerse, a virtual desktop, because I'm not at my computer. A lot of these programs want you to be at your computer with your keyboard and your mouse plugged into your computer, and you're just using virtual monitors. I have two really good monitors. I don't need to use VR to uh, l instead of my monitors. I want to be away from my computer, sitting on the couch, doing my computer when I want to, right? So through the latest updates with Meta, Immerse said it screwed up the mouse. I don't know if it worked before, but I bought a Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard. This is a basic keyboard, uh, but I could not get the mouse to work. The keyboard through virtual desktop and Immerse and all the other apps passes through the Quest just fine. This is linked to the Quest 3, but the mouse would not work unless I was using the Meta browser, right? So I, found, I came up with a solution. So let me just go through this real quick so this video is not real long. In case anyone else is having any problems, just using your computer on your home network. I don't know if it works remotely, but on your home network through Wi-Fi. Okay, so here's my computer. I'm an immersed, right? Let me let me close this. <clears throat> let me just go. So you can do your pointers and stuff, but it's kind of jittery on on virtual desktop and immersed i mean you can do it a little bit i i use it mainly for you know here's the menu and stuff like that um and this is the free version of immersed uh you can pay five dollars a month for a little extra fidelity i heard uh but just using it they give you like free weeks and if you get points you get unlock it for another week or whatever there's things you can do to uh without having to pay for it, even to get the pro to try it out if you wanted to. Uh, what's great about this is there's portals you can create. I created a portal for my my little setup here. It's a standard Bluetooth keyboard. And what's what I found out good, get black with white keys, because even in low light, see how grainy it is right now? Um, but this has, it's lit up. When you, this is a basic, you know, Amazon.com Bluetooth keyboard, and the, Everything lights up on it. It works great. Black with the white. I can see everything perfectly. Um, like I said, the mouse wouldn't work. So what I did was I downloaded uh, Unified Remote, I believe it's called Unified Remote. And there's other ones, too, where you can do a Wi-Fi mouse through your cell phone to control your computer. So I'm like, well, let's try that since it's not working through Quest. I have a Quest 3 again. Okay, so I'm in Immersed. What's great about Immersed, unlike virtual desktop, virtual desktop, you can do uh, mixed reality, so there's no environment, and you can see your keyboard and your mouse. But here, I can still be in a, a, a fake environment. <clears throat> I can put portals wherever I want. Uh, I, I don't have hand tracking activated. Let me show you that. You can control menus and hide screens and change chairs but here's a portal right this is for my coffee it's because i keep hitting it right this is for well my dog was here he's down there hey, there he is right there we got two of them but i put it here to watch my dogs you know what's this you can stick your head in there and look around here's the other one he's by the door but check that out isn't that crazy my wife's talking blah 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 there you go i can see her over in the kitchen uh, or whatever she's doing. Um, so that's great. You can do like up to five portals. And th this is the free version. Okay. Very playable. Screen resolution is great. But here's here, here is the deal breaker before where I wasn't going to do it. And when I even emailed them, Immerse, and they're like, last update I'm on the meta. Screwed things up a little bit. So <clears throat> look at this. No, I can't notice any latency. Two finger, two finger zoom up and down. Just do whatever you want. Test the keyboard. Watch this. Just boom there. Watch this test. T let's do. There you go. Look at that. Works perfect. So this is going through the Quest Three to my computer. This is connected to my Quest Three, 
This is connected by Wi-Fi. I even have Bluetooth turned off on my computer. Uh, plus, it's upstairs. I wouldn't reach anyway. But this is connected to my Wi-Fi. No problems. The only thing that I, I had to try to figure out is <clears throat> this. You can even do power settings. You can put your computer to sleep. And I found, and through WL, you know, Wake Online, on LAN, you can wake your computer up. But here's another thing. I have a password protected lock screen on my computer. You might be able to do it with Immerse, but I wasn't able to figure it out how to, it wouldn't connect to my computer with the lock screen. But I also have virtual desktop and that will allow me to go to the lock screen. So I have the virtual desktop uh, streamer app running. I have immersed streamer app thing running and I have the unified remote running. Um, so I can put it to sleep with this, and then if I wanted to go, and this I'll show you on virtual desktop, it also works. Let's just quit immersed. We'll go to virtual desktop. If it makes me a liar, nope. Okay, the only thing, like I said, you can go, you can do a mixed reality environment where you don't see any of this, and you'll be able to see your keyboard and mouse. You can't do portals, as far as I know, yet with virtual desktop. So let me look. I'm looking through the bottom of my headset to get to my my phone. But here we go. Let me just show you this. You can do double click, double tap for the secondary mouse button. You can move around just fine. Let's do a test on the keyboard. Keyboards going through the Quest to virtual desktop just fine, and it just works perfectly. And when you when you launch into virtual desktop, when it connects to your computer, it'll show the lock screen uh, on virtual desktop and just key in your password. Boom, and then you're you're up and running. And then since this isn't the best for you know, remote desktop because you can't do the portals and stuff and I can't see my coffee anymore. Just quit at a virtual desktop. Let me go back to immersed. My dog's growling. He wants to go outside. I would be able to see him growling at me, but I'm not in immersed yet. <laughs> I guess you can always double click from reality. You know what? You know how I'm, I'm new to the quest three. This is only the second day that I've been figuring this out, uh, so I am uh, brand new at this. But I was able to figure out a lot to make to make me happy. <laughs> He's getting ready to fight the other one. Check that out. See, isn't this crazy? Uh, I'm 53 years old, so this kind of, this kind of stuff is, uh, you know, my old brain. Uh, I, I'm surprised I was able to figure any of this out at all. But so I have my my second monitors are out there in the window. I have two monitors uh, on my computer, so I don't real, I don't use that one a lot. Just when I'm multitasking, watching a video or something, I'll just bring bring this back into the picture, you know. But usually I'll pretend like I'll just stick it on a table over here. Let me stick it over here. And there you go. I'll save that for when I need it. Like I said, I got my portals here, my coffee, my dogs, Wi-Fi, remote, keyboards working. Uh, video is freaking crazy as far as clarity goes. I haven't unlocked the Pro version yet. Uh, supposedly after three days, you get a, a free seven-day trial of using this for three days of the Pro. I'll see if those resolutions are any better, but pretty much that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Anyone else had any problems with getting the mouse to work? There you go. Quick fix until they figure all this out on all their ends, uh, but I am super happy. All right. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Let me see if I can figure out how to stop this recording. Later. Cheers.